What's up guys welcome back to Turner Fishing this is Steven Turner um today I'm gonna go over top five herring spawn bait as many of you know between May and going into summer the herring start spawning and 90% of your bass are in your lake whether it's Murray Clark's Hill uh, Russell for uh, Hartwell etc if, if your fishery has blue bags you're gonna have resident fish which spawn in the creeks live in the creeks spawn in the river live in the river um, you're gonna have lake fish which spawn on main lake live on main lake and always on lane make well always on main lake and you're gonna have the rest of them which is about 90 percent of the bass are, they're not going to relate to anything. It's not like a shad bluegill fishery. It's where the bait fish is, that's where your bass is going to be. Now, I know in Lake Murray, there's a lot of man made cane piles, and if you can find them, especially after the spawn, so like mid June, July, August, you know, when it gets to 100 degrees outside, you can find man made cane piles, which they're in like 20 to 30 feet of water. And the heron actually set up on there because the heron likes open, deep water, clean water. So if you ever didn't want to fish, like if you're at Murray and you don't want to fish the, like the herring spawn stuff, just find dirtier water. Heron cannot survive in dirty water. But anyway, guys, let's get my top five baits. So the first bait, I would say it's six o'clock in the morning you just got there first place you want to hit is either a a point or b rip wrap at a bridge preferably because you know bridge have deeper water most of the time so if you're going to hit the bridge and a bridge i would recommend is the one right ne next to drew island once you go in between to go to crystal lake or buffalo creek and just a white spinnerbait you know you want a big blade you can also put another willow blade here. Just a normal white spinnerbait. Uh, you give it a couple sends down the riprap, and if you follow it to, if you watch it as it comes to the boat, you'll actually see herring trying to spawn on it. And I would run the riprap with this. If you don't get any bites, I would come back through with either a swim bait or uh, a popper. But you should be able to locate if there's bass in here. On the rip wrap with a spinner bait. Number two, it's still early in the morning. You're gonna want, like, if you're on the points and stuff and you don't know if there's fish there or not, if the wind is blowing, there's nothing better than a Chug and Spook Jr. This is black and chrome on the bottom, and it walk, you can walk the dog with it, but it also spits like a normal uh, popper. And then you've got you know your regular czar spook three troubles and this is a shrike king spook three troubles and a shad pattern you got the white and the shad normally it don't matter because the bottom is the same i throw white pretty much all the time unless i get there really early then i'm gonna try to get like a black spook or just a chrome one because really i mean the bass are keyed in on heron so they're watching that heron school and you've got you know your bait over here walking the dog they're gonna you want a bait to make their attention go to them but also when they come up schooling if you hit this on top of their head you're probably going to get a couple strikes uh, number three bait would be swim baits this is a rage swimmer and a ghost minnow i think which is kind of like dark on the top and white on the bottom paddle tail I've got that on a jig and you can also if there's a lot of bait fish in your area you can rig it up on an underspin a little swim bait underspin and another good one for the money is the storm search bait 
This is another ghost minnow, but this one has a lot of specks in it. Another paddle tail, but it's still good. And number four would just be a trick worm. After about nine o'clock when that sun comes up, a lot of these schools will stop. You'll, you'll be catching them, you know, in the video I'm gonna post tomorrow. So subscribe for this, hit the thumbs up for it. Um, we actually had about 15 to 16 pounds before eight o'clock and we got there at six o'clock. And that was on one school, one spot all morning. But eventually it tied down. Sorry about the truck. And I ended up throwing a uh, watermelon seed, trick worm out. And I caught it like a four, four and a half pounder where they were they were coming up so i mean if they come down it's best to throw a swim bait or you can try dragging a worm 10 inch worm you know you, you could put a fluke on the texas rig and drag it you might get hit but i mean once they come down it's either you're going to follow the bait or you're going to go try to catch resonant fish now a tournament situation what i would do is i would try to get a limit by eight o'clock or you know nine o'clock before the sun comes up really good and then I would head to the river and try to catch a kicker. Because you can get about 15 pounds pretty easily in the heron spawn. But also everybody else can do that. So you've got to find a kicker to, to stand a chance of getting winning, uh, of winning. Or two kickers. Anyway guys, number one bait is by far a fluke. You can, like, I don't know how to explain it. But they will absolutely destroy a fluke. Destroy it. Like, you can rig it with a weighted swim bait hook. You can rig it with a four odd extra wide gap. And just wind it and jerk as fast and as hard as you can. And this fluke will be coming out the water like this. And doosh, they will nail it. I mean, you really, you could just throw it in the middle of the school and it, they're gonna choke it now this is when they're coming up schooling now in the video tomorrow like i've got a lot of stuff about them schooling like on actual video about them coming up and us throwing in there and catching them so stay tuned for that you can also take like a little drop shot hook and take you can get a pack of the uh, little bait holders right here and you actually thread that in without a hook on it you thread it in all the way, then you take the drop shot hook and nose hook it through that right there. And it makes some crazy action. Let's wait on this car right here. But, like the fluke, I mean, you can either throw a white, this is Albano. I mean, really, it's just, this, this bait right here, in my opinion, imitates herring or shad the best. And they absolutely love it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something, let me know. Um, in tomorrow's video, me and my girlfriend's dad actually went out. And we smoked them on the herring spawn until about 9 o'clock. And then we went and caught some resonant fish. So y'all stay tuned for that. Uh, hit a thumbs up for me. Share the video if you think it's somebody else that... that Fish is a blueback herring lake. Would like to hear my thoughts and input. And I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, yeah.